Hi everyone, welcome to Kitten Brush. Today we'll be drawing a cute bat, so grab something to draw with and a piece of paper and we'll get started. I'll be using a Pigma Micron for my drawing. I'm going to start my drawing by going up to the top of my paper in the center and just drawing two little tufts of fur right there for the top of his head. And then on either side of those tufts, just draw a small curve. So you have two small curves there. And then on one side, just draw a nice long curve going toward the corner of your paper and repeat on the other side. Now go to one of the ears and you're just gonna make a tiny little line there and then swoop downward toward the side of where his head will be. And let's repeat that on the other side. Now I'm gonna draw the sides of his face. I'm just gonna curve in just a little bit and then come around just to give his face a little bit more shape. And now I'm going to add some detail to the ears, just drawing a nice curve from the top down to the corners of his ear. And then let's draw some little ear tufts there. Now we're going to draw this cute little furry collar around his neck and just kind of go around um, just mirroring on each side. Just some little tufts here and there. There we go. And now um, I'm gonna go ahead and start on his face. Bats have like this cute little upturned nose. So I'm gonna show that there, just kind of an upside down U. Followed by a hook, a small curve, and another hook to make the mouth. And then I'll make some little um, sharp teeth there coming out of the mouth. For the eyes, I'm just going to be making some ovals. They kind of turn um, in toward one another. And then just make some smaller ovals or circles on the inside of those ovals. And now you're just going to color in, or if you want to leave it um, and color it a different color later, that's totally fine. And just finishing up that eye. Now for the body of the bat, because it's a cute bat, um, I'm gonna make it smaller and rounder. Um, so I'm just gonna make two curves coming down on each side. And then now for the feet, um, just a short line there coming out from one side of the body and then bending it downward. And now for the toes, just three little waves right there. And then I'm gonna form a little hook for his toes there. And then come up toward the center of the body, make a small curve, and then repeat what you did on the other side. It should look the same. They should be identical. And then to form the toes, just make some small curves on that foot. And now for the fun part, the wings. You're gonna be um, drawing a nice sweeping line up toward the top of your paper. And just repeat that on the other side.
And now at the top of each of those lines, you're going to make a claw and just repeat on the other side. And then a line that goes down, just a nice long curve going down toward the bottom of your paper. And then come back to the bat's body and just follow that curve that you just that you made for the first part of the wing and then a small curve underneath that hook and then come back down to finish up that main part of the wing. Just repeat the same thing on the other side. And now to finish up the bat's wings, I'm just gonna be drawing some um, extra lines here. So the fun thing about bats, the, I think it's like a cool fact about them, their wings are actually like hands. So these are all pretty much like fingers on a hand and they all have bones just like a human hand. And now I'm gonna to go to the other wing and just repeat the same process. And I'm doing three bat fingers, I guess is what I'm gonna call it. So three for each side. And now we'll go ahead and make the wing membrane. Just by making some really nice round curves there. From one point to the other of the wing, the, the wing bones. I think what's cool about the wings like this, you can use it the same method if you're making dragon wings or bat wings, looks pretty cool. And there we have our bat. I'm gonna go ahead and color this little guy using some Copic markers, but feel free to use whatever coloring medium you want, or you can just leave them as is. So um, I will meet you back at the end um, and enjoy some spooky music while you color. <laughs>
Thanks guys for joining me today. Please hit that like and subscribe button to see more kit and brush videos in the future. And happy Halloween!